We're going to discuss step-by-step -step problem solving in this lesson 2C. And we can solve any word problem by following these steps. We read the problem to figure out what it's asking, what we need to find, what information we need to find it. We're analyzing the problem. We look for clue words to choose the correct operation of add, subtract, multiply, or divide. We make a plan on how to solve it. Then we solve the problem. And here's the biggie. Check the answer to be sure. And if we estimate the answer before actually solving it, we'll know we're close. When you see the word about, we know they just want an estimated answer. Okay? Here's our first problem. Denali Mountain in Alaska is 20,310 feet above sea level. Grand Teton in Wyoming is 13,775 feet above sea level. So how many more feet above sea level is Denali than Grand Teton? So we think, what do we need to find? How much taller is Denali than Grand Teton, right? We look for clue words for the operation sign to use. We see how many more. So this how many more is telling us that we're comparing them and we need to find a difference. We've got this number. And circling your numbers can help you, but they may not let you write on the test, okay? So pay attention to the numbers, all right? So we know we need to find a difference because it says how many more. That means subtraction. So we do subtraction. We do 20,310 minus 13,775. Now chances are you're going to be using a calculator for this because remember in the first half of the math GED test, they give you a calculator. Just punch in 20310 minus 13775 equals, all right? We're going to talk about that in the next lesson. We're going to talk about calculators. We see that it's 6,535 feet. And we would label our word problem answer. And we can check it. If we take these two numbers and add them, they should total the original number. See? We're just going in reverse. The opposite of subtraction is addition, and the opposite of addition is subtraction, see? All these numbers are going to be grouped as a family, see? All right, Tim worked 135 hours in three weeks. He earns $12 per hour. So how much did he earn in the three weeks? Now, what do we need to find? We need to figure out how much he made working 135 hours at $12 per hour. But the three weeks is extra info we don't need. That's a trick. We don't need this. We don't need that information. That's just how long it took him to make the 135 hours. So be careful when they give you too much information. All right? So now we look for clue words to pick an operation. And it says per hour. So that tells us that means multiply the hours times the pay. So here we have the hours, 135. We have $12 per hour. We need to multiply those. We just solve it. Remember, we start with the two and we fan to ones, tens, hundreds. Then we do the ones, the one times the one, the one times the tens, the one times the hundreds, and then we add them together. So two times five is ten. We need to regroup. Two times three is six, plus that one is seven. Two times one is two. Now, we don't need this anymore. That was for when we were multiplying the two. When we multiply this one, we don't need the two's regroupings. Okay, we're starting fresh. One times five, because we're multiplying in the tens place, we put the five here. One times three is three. One times one is one. And we add them. And we made a video on this in the playlist. If you missed it, you're not watching every video, and you could be losing something, okay? We add these, 0 comes down, 7 plus 5 is 12. We have to regroup that 1, don't we, and put the 2 down here. 1 and 2 is 3, 4, 5, 6, and a 1. Now, because this is how much he earned, that's money, isn't it? He made $1,620. Now, because you're going to be using a calculator, just multiply it again real fast for 10 seconds to make sure you've got the right amount before circling, before filling in that bubble. Okay, you can also do division to check it because multiplication and division are the opposites of each other. They're inverse operations. We take this 1,620 and divide it by the $12. 
and we should get the 135. We could also divide it by the 135 and see if we get 12, okay? Either way, they're inverse of each other to check, okay? Quickest way would be just be to multiply it real quick again on your calculator, all right? See this one? Bob needs tile for his kitchen and foyer. There's 126 square feet and 20 square feet. So we don't need to figure out what the square footage is for each room. It gives it to us. It says, what is the total square feet of tile he needs for both areas? So we think, what do we need to find? The total square feet of both areas. We look for the clue words, total and both areas. See that? And then we solve it. So we're going to total them. We're going to add them. 126 plus 20. We could probably even do that mental math, couldn't we? It's 146. We can check the addition with subtraction. We take the 146 and subtract the 20. And if we get 126, we know we did it right. Okay. So now you should be ready to do the GED skill focus on page 47. And I wanted to let you know, you need to read those little blue rectangle tips that are on the pages whenever you see them. They're there to help you, and there might be something in there that could help you pass the GED. So take 10 seconds and read each of those blue tips, okay? Our next video is going to be basic calculator functions, and some of you need help on it. Even if you don't think you need help, it's only a few minutes long. It might be good for you to watch it, okay? I show you what the calculators look like that they're going to give you so you're familiar with them, and I show you how to use them. Now, if you need more help with what we just talked about, this step-by-step -step problem solving, there's these video links in this video's description. And if you need more help, watch these videos, okay? I'm offering you help. If you don't take it, there's nothing I can do, all right? I'm trying to help. All right. We're going to move on and talk about the calculators. I'm going to show you what they look like, and I'm going to show you how to do the operations, all right? Keep going. I'm proud of you. We're going to slowly make it all the way to the end, all right? Bye.